I went to the wrong place. The guy did a terrible job. But when he was due to put the, the system on, I uh, dropped it on the floor and all of my hair was on the floor. <laughs> I could just see him kind of pulling hair away from the glue and the, the bond and then he just slapped it on my head. Oh. But guys, this video is sponsored by LaVivid Hair. Thank you so much to LaVivid Hair for sponsoring videos like this where we get to talk and educate ourselves about hair systems and the stories inside of it. Use my code Jake15 for any of the stock items, 15% off any size order, and you can have a great deal on a great hair system. Now let's jump back into the video. Welcome everybody. Today we have Andy with us and he's going to share all about his hair loss story and where he is now. But everybody, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell below. Andy, how we doing, man? All good. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Thanks, Jay. Nice. Great. Great. Now, uh, you just told me you were putting the kids away. You got three kids, you're married, you've got a pretty busy life and yet you still found time to take care of this issue. And honestly, man, you look great. Yeah. Thanks buddy. Yeah. It's a uh, one thing that you've really noticed since I've had the hair is that nobody says, Oh, okay. When you say you've got three kids. So now I say, Oh, I have three kids and they're 13, 11 and four. And they go, no way, no way. How old are you? 35? <laughs> no. And previously when I had a bald head, it was kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he's definitely a dad. He, he's bald <laughs> yeah. for sure, man. Well, uh, do us a favor, take us back on your origin story. You know, how, uh, how you've dealt with, you know, hair loss throughout your life and kind of where you are now. Yeah. So, um, kind of like yourself noticed in my early twenties that it, it, the widow's peak started and, and I mm. kind of had the, 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 the balding patch at the back. Um, I think I was a bit oblivious to it for quite a while. I didn't really, really know what was going on there. With my did you not know what was going on or did you ignore what was going on? No, I genuinely didn't know what was going on. Um, I, I found a girl, we, we, you know, we fell in love like 10 years ago. So the majority of my hair loss was during that time. And the only real kind of moment that I realized that I didn't have a really good hairline or, or the ability to have a good haircut because I didn't have thick hair. I went to a hairdresser's with a picture of a guy and said, look, I want my hair to look like this. And she kind of just said, yeah, I don't think you'd, I don't think you'd get that file. And that was the first time that I thought, oh yeah, I'm going bald. <laughs> <laughs> was that a hard realization for you to uh, come to grips with? Like when it psychologically hit you? Yeah, big time. Yeah. And, and um, I think I, I always had this agreement with my wife that what I said, so look, when the time comes that we're out with, you know, on a day out or we're in, cause we do a lot of walking in, in the countryside and stuff. And um, when the time comes that the, the wind grabs my hair and you can see scalp and it's really bad and it's really thin, you know, you have to tell me and I'll zip it off and, and it goes. And then it, yeah. for a while, I just kind of owned it. And for about four or five years, I've just had a shaved head and, and just thought, oh, well, that's me. You know, I, I had hair previously and now I don't. And it's just great. So you're telling me that you, you just kind of did the thing shaved it all off and uh yeah. that was your way of coping with it for quite a few years that was it yeah yeah but I, I can't really grow a good beard so a lot a lot of guys when they can shave their head and they, they go to the gym quite a lot and they can get that physique of you know the, like the typical jason stayed and look um i can't i can't grow a good beard at all so i can't pull it off so i'm just looking at myself and look like an egg <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a more attractive egg. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but uh, no, that, that's that's fair, man. I mean, that's that's definitely like a look that a lot of people go for. It's kind of the like, hey, I'm going bald. I'm gonna get buff. I'm gonna get some facial hair. Yeah. It's it's definitely a style and it's a thing. Um, so uh, you dealt with this for a while, and then uh, what was what's the kind of transition? Obviously, you're not bald, muscular with facial hair. Um, at least you're not bald. You're probably extremely muscular and you have some facial hair. So, <laughs> but, but what was, what was the transition from, you know, that point of being uh, bald to where we are now? Um, I, being remote, to be honest, I, I work in IT. Um, so I see my reflection quite a lot on the, uh, on the teams calls, you know, when you're at work and you, you're dealing with different teams um, and just looking at the guy back in the, in the, in the, in the mirror, I guess, like on the screen, just feeling like I, that doesn't feel like me. It doesn't look like me. And I look at my wedding photos or I look at photos of me when I was a bit younger and I was in college and I just think, 
yeah, it doesn't look like the same person at all. And I'd seen um, Paul Bowen, you know, the the the, the, the English guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm good friends with him. Yeah, so you probably you probably do know because you're over in the states, but um, in England, Paul's video was, you know, it went viral so many times over. And the first time I saw that, I thought, you know, that that's that's kind of like. I could look, I could look like that, and, and Paul looks entirely different when he's got no hair to what he looks like when he has hair. And, but he also had the confidence of, this is what I'm doing, guys, and you can you can skip me if you want, whatever, I don't care. But I'm owning it, and I feel like I look better, so I'm going to do it. And and it, the seed really started from from Paul's video, and when you came out and and other guys on YouTube to say. You know, we don't have to accept this hand that we've been dealt at all. We can we can do something about it. And the only person who really thinks that it's a bit weird is us. You know, it's it's just us. That we're the we're the guys we're the guys who kind of think, is this right? Do people care? No, people don't. Because if you own it and you have the confidence to say, I feel like I look better, I feel like I look like like me, then you won't get any other kickback from that other than well played. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's awesome. So big shout out to first Paul. Uh, he's a friend of mine. Uh, just you know, we've done interviews, but we stay in touch. Great guy, and exactly what you're talking about. Um, he a hundred percent owns it. Like he he integrates all of his life together. You know, you see him um, dirt biking and owning a business, Bowen's Pies, and <laughs> and like in the midst of all that content, you'll just be like, flip off his hair and just be like, yeah, I, y'all laddies want to go out for a date. Like he's just a funny, like really real dude. Yeah. Great example. Um, so so lots of credit to him. And yeah, man, I mean, I, I think that's really awesome that you you've taken this journey. So how long have you been um, wearing a hair system now for? Not very long. Um, probably about three months, three or four months. Sweet. Okay, cool. How's it been going so far? It's really good. Yeah, it's um, it, it you have the it, it's such a minefield, isn't it? Trying to research when you're looking at densities and colors and skins and, and bases and bleach knots and the way that the knots are put in and tied on. And you just oh my, I'm never going to get the hang of this. And that's not even mentioning bonds. Uh, yeah. And there are so many companies that claim to to look out for you, but really the another company that just wants to rip another person off and mm. once you get through that and you you're sensible and you take your time and you don't make make any rash decisions then then it, it, it's a lot easier to, to transition i think everybody makes a mistake first off i i did i went to the wrong place initially the guy did a terrible job and i went oh did he really yeah he did yeah and i took my glasses off because i was in the salon so we were obviously wearing masks and uh, when he was due to put the, the system on, uh, dropped it on the floor and all of my hair was on the floor <laughs> and the sides. I'd grown my sides out for about three months prior because I knew that I was going to do it. Um, yeah, and just dropped it on the floor. And then because I didn't have my glasses on, I could just see him kind of pulling hair away from the glue and the, the bond and then he just slapped it on my head. Oh. It wasn't level. It was it was it was it was really poor. There was creased in it in it as well. And yeah, he even said at the end of it, I'm not going to charge you today because it's not my best work. Mm. You don't say you dropped it on the floor yeah, and it started. Cool. <laughs> it's out, yeah. That's really funny. But yeah, so I mean it, it is extremely overwhelming. You make a great point. I actually was was writing down on my notebook right here, um, of you know, some content that I want to make about that. Um, it's it's really e- well, so this is both a inspiration for people um, who are looking at it and they feel the overwhelm that you're going through. I've, I've honestly, so it's been about a year now, I've completely forgotten about that overwhelming feeling. Like it's, I forget that that was a thing, but it, it totally is a thing yeah. and you do get past it. Um, at first it's just, it's so, it's so much to handle and so many things to consider. And there's not a lot of great information out there. There's companies pushing stuff, but you know, uh, you don't get the, the, the honest feedback of like, this is right for you. No, this is not right for you. It, you know, on, on certain company websites, just like everything is great for everybody. And it's just, it's not how it works. Yeah. So, um, 
you're, you're totally on point with that and we'll definitely make a little bit more content to, to deal with that stuff in the future. But I mean, you, you look fantastic now. I think that, you know, that style is, is really, really awesome. Like it's, it's, it's appropriate, you know, the, I don't know you well, but your, your lifestyle, what I've heard about you so far, you know, you're married, got some kids, looks like it's pretty easy to maintain lifestyle or hairstyle, excuse me. Yeah. And, and really just kind of low key, which I think is, uh, something that a lot of us should be going for. You don't have to go for an extreme <laughs> hairstyle. You don't have to go for, um, something super crazy or wild. Just go some, for something that fits your life, something, you know, natural that you can blend in with unless you want to stand out. Yeah. Um, yeah exactly. Just you go with the first time I had it done, I didn't really know what to do with my hair because obviously I hadn't had hair for 10 years. <laughs> You're like, what do I do with my hair? Do you mean my one hair? <laughs> as the, uh, the hair grow and he's got like the 1970s side part and you think, is that still cool? Do people still wear their hair like this? <laughs> <laughs> Are you pulling out like the old black and white hair books that we all saw when we were kids and stuff? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, um, I mean, how is your your wife kind of taking this with you? How is how has she walked with you on this journey? Um, yeah, what we were saying uh, just a little earlier that um, my wife has been in, incredible about it. She realized that she was really supportive. Realized that it was something that over time snowballed into a bigger problem for me and, and it's as i've said before it's not nice to look in the mirror and, and not like the person that you see and, and and if there's a thing there that enables you to look better then why not go for that and my wife's very very much on board with that and women deal with the stigma of this every single day and have done for every single day for the past god knows how many years so so they're very very used to this and i think where we fail as guys is that we're we're really on the defensive straight away and say well you know you wear makeup or you wear eyelashes and more often than not women are really sympathetic to how guys feel when it comes to this because they deal with it on a daily day on a daily basis so the argument really isn't there um my wife and my friends have been incredible but i've also been forthcoming and honest and you know really vulnerable to say i i feel like this is something that really upsets me um mm. and i want to set set it right and this is a route that i'm going to da- to go down to, to to make it right for me personally and maybe it's because i just associate myself with a good bunch of friends or or whatever but but I, i've not had any kind of any kind of issues with it yeah, well, I think you bring out two great points. First, um, first, by the way, you said earlier you're on Zoom a lot and you saw yourself in the mirror. So you had a Mulan moment, and I was gonna say I forgot, but you had this "Who is this girl I see?" moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, so uh, in this journey, it sounds like to me first, um, you you basically, and I'm not saying you did it because of what you saw on my channel specifically, but you really took that like honest, vulnerable approach. And it's, it's really amazing, like whether for hair systems or for arguments in life or for expressing, you know, heated emotions, it's, it's an incredibly, and there's research behind this. Like I studied communication in college. If you can use I language, I feel I need, I want type stuff when you're communicating with a person, number one, but you're vulnerable with, with someone, it's so hard for them to, it's so hard for another person to one make fun of you to 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 invalidate you if you're expressing how i feel um so th- that's a really powerful thing that you went ahead and you did and then number two um you said you know i'm probably surrounded by a good group of people honestly you're probably right there are the first point a we just made is going to be a huge factor in explaining what you're doing to other people everybody across the board that's that's super valuable but there are going to be some people that are watching this that do not have great friends that have friends that they think are friends but in actuality are not friends um friends support you when you're doing something to better yourself and if they don't support you they make fun of you behind your back especially after you're being vulnerable honest and, and not trying to like hide it or be secretive about it they're still making fun of you guess what litmus test you just found out that you're not really 
your friends or true friends. Yeah. So um, you've done both of those things very well. So I applaud you with that. And I hope you know some people in the audience maybe take that tough to swallow pill if they need to. Yeah, definitely. And and you know what? When I first when I first had it done, um, and I was kind of riding high for a while and uh, yeah. feeling really good about myself. Um, a good friend of mine, Dan, who I know will will eventually watch this, um, who is you know he, he doesn't have any hair at all, so. He, he just kind of reached out to me and said, look, Andy, where did you get it done? Because it looks great. And, and then he was, he opened himself up to me and said, I've been so unhappy with the way that I look for years now. And Dan wears a hat all the time. Really, really, mm. really, really unhappy to, to the more, more uh, intense than I was, you know, he's getting married in a couple of years. He was going to just wear a hat. He didn't want a photographer at the wedding. And now he's trying to go out himself and, and he wants to get this done as well. So the feeling that I get knowing that I've empowered him to, 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 put, to stand on a platform and say, I'm going to get this done and, and this, is, this is what I'm going to do. So that makes me feel great that I'm paying it forward to him. Mm, yeah, that is, that is so good, man. I'm that hits me right in the feels because the thing is like the moment that you become courageous, one, you allow a per another person, other people to accept you and see you as you are. But the, the great effect, the one that's super fulfilling is that you can change other people's lives. And if you were not honest and courageous, you wouldn't have that opportunity. And now this guy who's been suffering in silence, feeling like he is alone, gets a chance to change his life and feel better about himself. And that's directly because of you. Yeah. And so just, I mean, that's incredible, man. I I'm so inspired by that, that you're doing that and everybody else out there. If you, you, you don't have to tell other people, but you are not, you are serving other people by telling and by being vulnerable and by being honest and guess what? You just happen to also get the benefits of feeling more comfortable in your skin and building better relationships. But, um, that's, that's so incredible, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. yeah, well, thank you for sharing that, man. I appreciate that a lot. You know, is there, uh, how about your kids actually? So you got, you said three kids and they're kind of, some of them are becoming teenagers. How did, how did that all happen for you? Yeah. So, so our oldest is, uh, is Caden. So he's 13 years old and he's, his life at the moment is just, He's PlayStation 5 and memes. That's essentially what he lives for. It's just PlayStation 5 and memes. And Caden was like, I thought that he would skip me the most out of everybody. And I can take it, you know, we have a good banter relationship. But he was just like, no, it looks great. It looks really, really good. And uh, our youngest, Noah, who's just turned four, he went into nursery uh, the first day that I kind of had it done and just said, yeah, daddy wasn't happy. Uh, daddy was upset with his bald head, so he glued a wig on it. And that was like, that's... <laughs> so he just glued a wig on it. So yeah, everybody at Noah's Nursery now knows that I have a wig, but it's all right. <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all good. Hey, you rock it and you you uh, you make it look good. Yeah. So yeah. is there is there any uh, parting wisdom that you have for our audience today? Yeah, I would just say that if, you, if you're on the fence, um, and it's not because of anything to do with um, like a monetary reason. If it's just you need, you need uh, that push is just to go for it. 2020 sucked big time. Um, 2021 is, is going to be a new year and a, a good challenge for everybody. And do the research first. Find um, a reputable company who you feel works for you and they're not just after selling you a 700 pound hair system that they bought from China for, for a hundred pounds. Um, just, just really, really research it because at the end of the day, it's, it's on you, you know, it's on your head. Um, so it, you, you need, you can't take it lightly, but at the same time, just go for it. And once you do, you'll realize that, you know, you're not drowning, you're not suffocating anymore, and that it's not really that much of a big deal. <laughs> I love it. That's great, man. That's great advice for people. Thank you so much for sharing your story and spending time and being courageous and helping other people uh, along the way, man. It's to me that that's exactly the, the mission that I set out with on this channel and, and you're being, you know, the, 
the uh, the extension of this channel so it's it's so powerful that you're doing that and um i know i and others are appreciated a lot so thank you so much yeah. man everybody please you know like comment subscribe give this guy some love in the comments for doing this for coming on for being brave for being courageous all these things andy thank you so much once again everybody else we will see you soon